Tram 2551 overturned, going too fast round this corner into Sandylands. The night before, investigators found that the driver, Alfred Doris, had downloaded a work document on his phone at 11 o'clock. He didn't recall doing that. An expert said he could have interrupted his sleep pattern before his early shift at 4.30 a.m. The expert told the court that in the tunnel before the turn, the driver lost awareness of the driving task during a period of relatively low workload. It is probable that underload led to the driver losing awareness of the driving task on the day of the accident. Underload can affect performance on its own or it can trigger a micro sleep. When he gained awareness, the court heard that the driver may have been disorientated and there were no signs in the tunnel to show where he was and which direction he was going in. The jury also heard that a survey had been done of tram drivers after the incident and 38 out of 59 of them said they'd suffered fatigue while driving a tram. Four of them had had a loss of awareness. Three of them had had micro sleeps and 75% of drivers said the way the operator dealt with fatigue management was poor or very poor. Although experts told the court that fatigue from shift patterns was not a factor in the Croydon tram crash. Seven people died in the crash just days after investigators made recommendations for better signage and automatic braking. The inquest is expected to last three months. Tom Edwards, BBC London.